Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Yes, after the international break has just finished, we're back with the Premier League. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. If you want to design a shirt or you want to, you know, basically like one of their custom designs, you know, go order one of their shirts or go and make your own and use the word sport for 10% off your purchase price. And, you know, the best way I could explain a custom shirt is like one of your football clubs has had a special day and you want to print on a shirt. That's the website to use and use the word sport for 10% off your purchase price. But anyway, guys, you're here for one reason and one reason only. So, guys, let's get straight down to it. Guys, you know what to do, so a big fat thumbs up, you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Everton versus Liverpool. Now, Everton versus Liverpool, Liverpool have really not got at the starting block as quick as they did last season. Everton are doing ever so, you know, slightly better, I think they've won 4 out of 4 in this early Premier League season. This game is going to be interesting. Don't be surprised if Everton, you know, become my underdogs of the season. In the next few weeks or so, I'll start doing sort of that thing because, you know, it's giving me a bit of time to settle in. I'm going to go for an Everton win and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Everton win. My next one is Chelsea versus Southampton. Now, Chelsea versus Southampton is, you know, both teams, Chelsea have really not got out of the starting blocks, you know, as quick as what probably they would have liked. Nor is Southampton, though. I'm going to call this one a draw, I think. And I'm going to go with a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Manchester City, yet again, are another team that really has not got out the starting blocks as quickly as what they would have liked. Arsenal are starting to find their feet under Mikel Arteta. And basically, you know, the team's starting to work out. Obviously, it takes time with a new manager anyway. I think he's doing a brilliant job at, at Arsenal. Probably not... The best jobs I've seen on Parcel, but you know, he's doing his best he can and fair play to Mick Arteta for actually taking the job on. Because let's not forget, when he took the job on, he was Pep Guardiola's assistant manager up at Man City. So, you know, this weekend's going to be a quite an interesting one. But I think Arsenal will just edge this one and I'll go for a 2 1 Arsenal scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Man United. The first game of the pay-per-view era. Um, obviously, we still don't know how long we're not going to be allowed to return to football stadiums for. But, you know, if you follow me on social media, you should have seen my picture of the London Palladium. If you don't follow me on social media, this is exactly where the tear print print is, uh, link is as well. Down in my description, follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter and you'll see all my social media gossip as well. And if you did see that London Palladium picture, you understand where a lot of my frustration is. But, you know, I can't do anything. I'm not in that sort of power, unfortunately. But um, anyway, back to the game. Um, as I said, Newcastle, first pay-per-view game. And there is a video on that as well and I'll make this appear at the end of this video so if you haven't seen it it's worth watching I actually I know a lot of you won't but I actually do if you do watch all the games and the final price it'll cost you just in October let alone like November and December time but as I said I'll let you watch that if you want to appear at the end of this video Newcastle basically Newcastle are one of these teams that have got going, okay, they did lose to Brighton, but Man United have really not got going anyway. A lot of people saying they're king penalties because of what, you know, what they're doing in the penalty box. I'm going to predict Newcastle to win this game, and I'm going to predict a 2-1 scoreline for that one. 
My next one is Sheffield United versus Fulham. Sheffield United are basically, you know, ain't got going yet. Both teams are looking at different things this season. Sheffield United are looking at European football, for example. Fulham are just looking to stay up. Fulham has not had the best of starts, nor has Sheffield United. But if Sheffield United want to win this uh, qualify for Europe this season, they're going to have to win this game. So I'm going to predict Sheffield United to do so. Not for by a very big margin, no. And I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one. It's been called many things over the years. It's been called the M23 derby, the Al Mullery derby, the, you know, Glen Murray derby. It is Crystal Palace versus Brighton. I'm not sure whether you Crystal Palace fans have actually came up with names yourself. Put it down in the comments below if you have. But, you know, it, now if you're a regular for your mind, this is where... I don't call it a derby because there's a whole most way between us. If you do want to see a video on this rivalry, because I did read back, I did read some some stuff about this when I was learning about it, and it is a quite an interesting history story. So if you want to hear that, put it down in the comments below. I'll do a video on that for you. But both clubs haven't really got going. Crystal Palace, okay, maybe got a bit further out the blocks than Brighton. Brighton, you know, we need to win again. I'm just saying that from a bright perspective. But I don't think neither team will win this one. I think it'll go as a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham versus West Ham. Now, Tottenham... Yet again, ain't got at the starting blocks as quickly as what they would have liked. West Ham did have a brilliant result against Wolverhampton by beating them four goals to nil at London Stadium. I believe that was the weekend before the international break. Uh, put it down in the comments if I'm wrong. But as far as the game goes, I'm going to go for a West Ham win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham win. My next one is... Leicester versus Villa. Now Leicester are, you know, they have had that bit of a good run of a spell. As I said, it's still early days in the Premier League season, so, you know, don't get bogged down too much. But, same with Villa though. Um, I don't know how to call this one. I'm going to go with an Aston Villa Do I go? you know what I can't remember mine up on either club so I'm going to call this one a draw and I'm going to go with a 2-2 scoreline for that one my next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Burnley I can't see West Bromwich Albion doing anything to Burnley I can't see Burnley scoring against West Bromwich Albion either so I'll go with a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Leagues versus Wolverhampton. Leagues, you know, had a brilliant game against City. Nearly beat them and I did put them down for a win. You know, and fair enough to Leagues. Leagues have taken this league by storm as well. So fair play, as I said, to Leagues for doing that. Wolverhampton, yeah, again, I'm really having that bit of a hard time getting out of the blocks how do I call this one I'm gonna call this one a leagues win I think and I'm gonna go with a 2-1 leagues win I'm sorry Wolverhampton fans but you know I can't see this one going any other way but anyway guys you know what to do give each other a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching ciao for now